As you already know, anytime you create a new email message, down below in the main body of your message, you get a plain white background. If you want to be able to customize it and change it to something more colorful, or even background images of teddy bears, then you want to take a look at and set up one of the stationary templates. To get started, let me close out of the email message here, and then come up here, click on the Tools menu, go down to Options, click on the Mail Format tab, and the first thing you want to make sure this is set up correctly is that you have your Compose in this message format to HTML. HTML allows you to have background images and rich text. Click on the drop down arrow, we already covered this in a previous training video, but the other two don't allow for background images, which is what our stationery is. So once you verify that that's set up to HTML, come down below and click on the Stationery and Fonts button. Then up here, click on the Theme button. Now I know it says Theme, it doesn't say Stationery, but in this view, it has a combination of not only themes, but you can see where they're marked in parentheses, those templates that are stationaries, like Bears. Select it, over to the right you get a preview of Cuddly Bears, and then Currency, and so on. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom here, find something that I like, Soft Blue. Now in addition to the background image, you also get some type of font theme. The only way to find out that theme is to test it. So go ahead and select your stationery, click OK, and then click and create a new email message. Down below you can see the uh, stationery is applied to the background, and to find out what type of font theme is applied, once you click in the main body of the message down below, you can come up here and look in the basic text group. You can see it's Arial, size 11. If it was bolded, that would be in bold. That B would be selected, and so on. Go ahead and type in a message, and then of course be sure to, to address it to somebody and the subject. Once you click send, the person who gets it will see it just like you see it here. However, keep in mind that not everybody can receive or accept HTML messages. We covered this in a previous training video, but if you get a few exceptions like that, you don't have to go back through all those steps and unapply this. Instead, once you create your message, just make an exception here by coming up and clicking on the Options tab, going to the Format group and selecting Plain Text. It'll say, look, if you continue with this, the formatting will become plain, and also the background will be lost. Click Continue, go ahead and address it to the person, and click Send, and you're done. I'm going to close out of here without saving. And then, of course, the next time you create a new message, you still get your default stationery. Now, if you want to be able to turn this off completely, you want to follow the same steps, basically. Come up here, click on the Tools menu to Options. Mail Format tab to the Stationery and Fonts button. Click on the Theme button and then scroll all the way to the top and say No Theme. Select it, click OK, and then when you create your new message, you're back to the plain white background. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.